Good morning from National City, San Diego. The way I see it is if I can't travel internationally right now, I might as well go seek out some international flavors in my own backyard. And of course, that has to begin with Filipino food. I miss it like crazy. So today we're in National City, a huge Filipino community here, and I'm gonna go try some authentic Filipino dishes. I got Daniel behind the lens. You've never experienced Filipino food, correct? Never. I'm gonna introduce him to some of my favorite dishes and see just how much we can eat in one day here in National City. And that all begins at this little bakery called Valerio's for some pan de sal. Let's see what we can get into. Smells so good. Wow. Ube. Look at this. Cheese pan de sal. These look so good. I'm very good. How are you? Ube cheese roll? Yeah. Okay, I'll get one of those. That's sweet coconut inside? Yeah. Oh man, I'm a sucker. What are these? And then of course, ube everything, right? Ube all the time. Oh, I love the shop. Yeah, I love those. And this is the um, banana in Turon. I know it well. I know it very I was there for four months. Yeah, traveled all around the country. Uh, beautiful, I love it. And so now I can't travel, so I'm trying to go find the food <laughs> that I love and miss. Fresh out the oven. got the goodies. All right, this is still warm. You can see the steam in the bag. Pan de coco, carioca, which are these little donuts. All right, I wasn't gonna do this, but. <laughs> that is coconut inside, glaze on the outside. Almost a sticky rice consistency on the inside. Oh my gosh. All right. I've never heard of this one, honestly. Carioca, it's called. The name Carioca sounds like someone from Rio de Janeiro, but this is unbelievable. All right, that's dangerous. And you got a whole skew of them. This one, I was so excited about. How incredible does that look? Bibinka, it's got cheese and egg, sugar coating on the outside. This looks insane. Oh, holy cow. It's like a sweet cornbread with cream cheese in it. Whoa. This just knocked my socks off and we're just starting. This is one of the best pastries I've ever tried in my entire life. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. Then, of course, a traditional breakfast is pan de sal, which is basically just a dinner roll with salt on top, and it is still hot. Feel this? Still warm. He can vouch for me. Basic, simple, delicious. This is wonderful. And we got here at the perfect time. And one more thing, this one caught Daniel's eye. This is a powdered sugar covered little roll stuffed with ube and cheese. This is gonna be a mess. You see that ube on the outside just pouring out? Mamacita. Very good. They know what they're doing. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting this much. Honestly, thought we were gonna walk in there, get a pan de sal, eat it. Pan de sal is good, but it's very basic. I was not expecting all of these delicious treats. That is a wonderful start, and we're just getting started. Next stop, stop number two, we're just next door, and we'll go get some more substantial food. Let's go. All right, next up is Tita's Kitchenette, right next door to the bakery. It makes it very easy, let's go eat. <laughs> Hi, Jer. I'm making a video about the best Filipina food okay. in San Diego, and everyone told me to come here. First time here, right? First time pancet? Yeah, you know pancet? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do adobo, pancet. Oh, that's a lot. Woo! 
Wow. <laughs> Sinigang pork. <laughs> That's Colombia. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, this is the most recommended place by everybody that you guys left comments on Instagram, on YouTube, and they have everything. All the Filipino classics. Alright, starting out, we have Lumpia. These look and smell incredible. Really beautiful, crunchy, pork filled Lumpia. Dip in the sweet and sour sauce here. See if you can catch this audio. Better than any egg roll you'll ever have. Packed with pork and seasoning. Such a delicious fried, crunchy exterior. One for one. Oh man. All right, let's try this Sinigang tamarind soup. Ooh, starts off just as a basic chicken noodle soup and then it has this incredible sweet sour taste to it. It's like a sweet and sour pork soup and these huge chunks of pork in there and so soft. Really yummy. Cynthia, did you make this? No. Are they Filipino? Everybody's from the Philippines? No wonder why everybody's so awesome. Now the main event, one of my absolute favorite Filipino dishes is adobo. And the chicken adobo wasn't ready. We went with the pork adobo. Pancet is basically just very light noodles. Oh my gosh, it's already falling apart. One of my all time favorites. A reason to visit the Philippines by itself. It's such an original seasoning too. I don't want to put it in the same category as the teriyaki. It's got sourness, sweetness, Looks like some onions on there, garlic. And the pancet. Simple, easy. There's some cabbage in there with carrots. Like a chow mein. Actually pieces of chicken in the pancet. Mm, that's good. All right, next. Another 30 pound batch of deliciousness right here. This is the pork curry curry. Those of you that don't know, it's very much like a curry sauce, a Filipino curry sauce. And you have the pork in here. Mm. It has a sweet peanut butter taste to it, almost like a peanut sauce. Nice, beautiful dried herbs there, some fresh veggies, and you got all of the pork in here all the bits. That is delicious and a very strong peanut butter flavor. All right, one more. This is also one of my favorites. This is pork sisig. I like it with a little bit of rice. Sometimes it serves sizzling. This one was already prepared. We have some sweet and sour sauce on this one. Not too spicy, but the best part about sisig is the crunchy bits. So they cook it up, they pan fry it so it's nice and crunchy. That was delicious. Favorite out of all this? Lumpia, along with the pork adobo. Hands down, that's the best. Amazing flavor from the curry curry. The seasick, nice and crunchy. This soup was surprisingly delicious. Tita's Kitchen there. Thank you guys so much for the recommendations on this. This place is incredible. This is the sauce uh, curry curry. It's oh, this called uh, bagoong. Bagoong. Is, yeah, bagoong. It's a fish sauce. Right? Woo. This is baga ung, and you often serve this with mangoes. And if those of you who have seen the Philippine series, baga ung mangoes, not my favorite. It is a very strong fish paste, and I mean very strong. That just overpowered everything I just ate. Baga ung, it is an acquired taste for sure. Tastes like the bottom of the ocean, and they eat it with mangoes. We should leave this at the bottom of the ocean, but everything else is delicious. All right, we are at our next location, and this is Manila Sunset. Now, again, it's in another plaza. You wouldn't know that it's here. 
There's no sign above. Just look for the checks into cash sign in between the snow pops and the bubble T joint in the Armed Forces Career Center, and you'll find Manila Sunset. Let's go. All right, here we go. Manila Sunset. You're tough to find. We're at Manila Sunset, and everyone told me here to get pancet malabon, but I just ate pancet, so I went with a few other things. Something I ate almost every day, especially when I was in Iloilo, and that is bangos. Bangos is this beautiful fried fish. We got an egg on top, of course, Filipino power. We got the rice. We got the vinegar sauce right here. All right, what I'm gonna do is take this bangos, give it a dip in my vinegar sauce, a little bit of egg if I can, and the rice. That's one of my favorites. Hello. I want you to try this one. Ooh. This, this is our specialty here. What is this? That's the uh, bibinga galapong. Wow. Made from rice cake. This is the rice cake? Yeah, and, and, and that's what? the coconut, grated coconut. You, you just dip in there. You take so a little good. piece and then dip yeah. in there? Thank you so much. Look at that. All right, one thing at a time. Now I'm just overwhelmed with deliciousness. First, bangos. This is incredible. Crispy on the outside. Beautiful texture there. And this vinegar sauce. One of my favorite things about Filipino food is the vinegar sauce that's served with almost everything. You hear that crunch? All right. Now this one is even more like a pancake thick and fluffy. They call it a rice cake, but it seems so much more like a soft cornbread to me. That's unreal. This is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Damn. Couldn't be a Filipino video without this guy. <laughs> You've seen this in many Filipino videos all around the world. You got ube ice cream on top and every location serves it a little bit differently with their own little tricks of the trade. You have gelatins in there. You have tapioca. You have condensed milk. This could get, always gets messy. There's no chance this doesn't get messy. You got some flan pieces in there and the ube ice cream. Looks like some little rice krispies on the top there as well. This is the ultimate summertime treat. And the perfect finish to a hearty meal. Oh. You gotta try it. Oh, what'd you say? Yeah, so when, the, when they were preparing these guys, yeah. I was like, who, who would ask for something like this? It's too heavy. <laughs> and then they say, Gary, it's for you. <laughs> Here we go. This is your first attempt? First ever. Hello, hello. Mix, mix. It's aggressive, right? There's a lot of flavors. It's like cereal with rice pudding, with <laughs> ice cream, everything, man. It's a fiesta in my bo in my boca. <laughs> and the ice, you so like refreshing. It? Yeah. Mm. I can see this having it in the beach in the Philippines. Yeah. Very crunchy. <laughs> Everyone should try this. <laughs> Full disclosure, we left Manila Sunset and we went over to Porky's Lechon for my favorite, hands down, my ultimate favorite dish in the Philippines and that is Lechon. We got there, our boy Mike who runs Porky said, I don't have any Lechon today. He said, if you come back tomorrow with friends, I will make you something special. So we're on our way there, it's the following day and we're gonna go try as much Lechon as he has prepared for us. We have no idea what to expect he just said I'll make something special. And when a Filipino tells you that, you gotta trust him. So we're heading over there now to feast. Let's go. All right, right in this unsuspecting plaza. Again, here in National City, you gotta find the little hidden gems deep inside plazas, stuck between the big lotses and the Joanne Fabrics and Seafood City. 
We got Porky's Lechon. Let's go see if it lives up to my expectations. <laughs> Remember when I told you about that surprise that Mike had for us here at Porky's? Well, he came through uh, and I brought some friends because look at the feast that he has prepared for us. This is Kamayan. 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 I got it. Yep. Kamayan. This is Kamayan <laughs> and we have literally everything from the forest to the sea, from chicken skewers, we got shrimp lumpia, we have obviously the main event, lechon. We got mussels, we have baked salmon and banana leaves, we have rice, and looks like some pancet there, lobster tails of course, a bunch of different sauces, oranges, and some friends. Guys, what do we think? Excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you ever had this style of food before? No. Are you excited? It's an understatement to say that I am excited. <laughs> <laughs> Althea, you have. Yes. And you know what you're doing. This looks exactly better than I imagined. This is our yeah. resident oh. Filipina <laughs> that's gonna quarterback all this and tell us where to eat. Barrett, you haven't had this style of food. No, 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 not like this. Brad and Barrett have not. The middle two have some idea, but this is our captain. All right, you guys, you ready? Ready. ready. I am ready. Let's dig in. Right. Traditionally, kamayan, which means by hand in Tagalog, is a communal style buffet where meats, seafood, rice, and veggies are laid out on banana leaves. Oh, Everyone baby. eats together with their hands. We try to honor this tradition while still respecting the current state of the world. So we brought a table outdoors, divvied up the feast into per person sections, and Mike took care of cutting up and dishing out this incredible lechon. Who wants one? Everybody. Load me up. Me too. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. The crunchy skin. Let's get into this pork. Oh, my God. Not a lot of spice. There is one. <laughs> oh, you're gonna sit down and eat with us. <laughs> so good. Mm. Happy for dinner. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so glad you invited me. <laughs> that coconut sauce on it. Yeah, that's the uh, it's a curry. Yeah. I just wanna lick it off all the shell. This tastes like home. Oh yeah, that's where it's at, Brad. So you said you dip this in vinegar. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese wrapped in uh, That's shrimp lumpia with cream cheese inside of it. The sweet and sour. I'm surprised oh, okay. better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like It is like a crab one like a uh, rangoon. They have a lot of spicy like a crab oh, rangoon but a hundred times better. All right we have one missing link. Daniel uh, we're turning over the camera to me so he can get in on this piece. Welcome to the party. Oh, hey. Reinforcement. How you doing? Welcome to the We're just calling in the calling in the backups here. <laughs> Sound of happiness. These two days, eating my way around National City is a reminder of how much I miss life on the road. Experiencing foreign cultures through the food and people that define them, and being able to share a meal with friends. Hopefully, we can all get back out into the world soon, because I know. The Philippines is calling me back. He was able to go back. We had quarantine 14 Oh, yeah. Look at that. I can't go back because I have a great passport. I had a really quick one. Well, you have my Filipino passport when I got to Haiti. Don't they allow vaccinated people now? Back? Mm. Uh, Does this live up to the standards? Yeah. Oh, super. Above and beyond. Really? Yeah. Yep. 
about that. Crispy right from skin, the source. all kinds, everything. They didn't skip anything. Shrimp, mussels, chicken, lumpia. Two kinds of lumpia. Oof. Oof. Salmon. I'm, I'm full of just talking. Late to the party, but you happy you came? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> going with a yes. Strong yes. <laughs> worth it. Easily worth it. Um, I can't even tell you what's the best part. Everything. It's. I feel like I have lechon all over my face, but it doesn't matter. This was an incredible meal, an incredible two days of eating here in National City. Everybody's still eating. We're still making a dent on this lechon and everything else. This was an incredible spread. The best way to cap off a Filipino feast here in San Diego. This is Porky's. It's unreal. Now, this isn't typical. You can't come here and just sit down and get all this. <laughs> uh, but you definitely can. They cater, they do a lot of other things, weddings, events, all that good stuff. But Filipino food, what do you guys think? It's ridiculous. I mean, it's so, so, good. so good. Like, good? Out of control. <laughs> Daniel, what do you think? Two days, Filipino food. How do you feel? Overwhelmed, delicious. <laughs> Slightly full. That's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that notifications bell, comment. Let me know if you guys would try this stuff. See you guys next week. See you. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's in here. <laughs> Time out. There is a crazy eagle fight going on right over this plaza. We can't see them, but you're just here. There's some kind of a fight. I don't know if it's mating season or what, but there are some massive eagles going at it right behind Mary's hair salon. All right, now let's start the video. <laughs> All right, we're in, a, we're in another plaza here in National City, and I'm looking for Manila Sunset. There's a huge sign right here. It says Manila Sunset and then Subway. Oh, all I see is a five for $10 shirt place, a, ca a cash, check cashing place, bubba tea, snow pops, taco sauce. Manila Sunset, where are you? <laughs> All right, we have kari kari with rice, lumpia, soup, sisig, pork adobo, pancet. What's the name of the soup again? Sinigang. Sinigang. I never remember that. Take that to your loved ones, leftovers. We have plenty of them. Whoa. Brad, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, phone. sir. Brad you had to okay, go for Brad? a walk. Uh, here you go. As soon as I stood up, it just... <laughs> it all hit you at once. We did a good job. We did a great job. Yeah. Not one shrimp left behind. Good job, team. Like, 